guys, it's your Tagal Mary and welcome back to our channel. Usapang budget phone na naman tayo and this time it's from the brand Infinix and actually this is their Infinix Note 11 S. Sabi ko naman sa inyo guys, very in for this year 2021 ang mga budget phones na merong 50 megapixels as its main camera. Correct me if I'm wrong, parang pang-apat na yata ito na ifi-feature ko dito sa ating channel na merong 50 megapixels. Pero alam nyo ba, based sa specs niya on paper, sobrang interesting dahil kung ibibase natin sa kanyang price and of course, early bird price. Isa yata ito or actually hindi isa pero siya yata yung pinakasulit. On paper pa lang to guys ha? So again, we are comparing it sa specs na nakikita pa lang natin and not based on real life. So malalaman natin yan in today's video. Pag-usapan muna natin, of course, yung pricing niya. Ang regular price ng Infinix Note 11S is 9,990 pesos lang. And then, this upcoming November 30 and December 1, naka 800 pesos off siya, which is magiging 9,190 pesos na lang. Packaging ng Infinix Note 11S is still color green. So familiar looking pa rin naman. It's the same with the other Infinix Note 11 smartphones. And then kung mapapansin nyo guys, meron tayong 8 gig of RAM na merong 128 gig of internal storage. Sa totoo lang, good yung pricing niya doon pa lang sa RAM na meron tayo. Considering that some budget phones na nasa ganitong price point ay 6 gig RAM yung ating mabibili. O di ba guys, sa RAM availability pa lang niya, medyo, actually hindi medyo, pero nata-turn on na tayo agad. <laughs> Inside the box is, of course, we have the smartphone. Siyempre, makikita nyo yung mga specifications na i-expect natin sa kanya, which are, meron nga siyang gaming processor na Helio G96. Bukod pa doon, meron din siyang 120Hz of refresh rate. And of course, a 33W fast charging. O, ba guys? 33W yung charging speed niya, unlike its competitors. Sorry po! Of course, may paperwork tayo at yung libreng jelly case. Siyempre, huwag natin kalimutan yung kanyang 33W fast charging power brick at yung USB Type-C charging cable natin. Kung reaction guys noong paglabas ng Infinix Note 11S sa kanyang box is yung size niya. Talaga namang, alam nyo yun, in all honesty, sanay na naman dapat ako sa mga Infinix phones kasi alam naman natin guys na most budget phones nila ay ganito talaga yung sizing. Kung baga, phablet ang datingan pero kasi syempre it's from the 11 series. Yung kulay pala guys na meron tayo is in Mithril Grey. And then available din siya in two other colors which are Symphony Cyan and Haze Green. O, oh, ba? Muntik ko na namang hindi ma-pronounce yung isang kulay. But anyway, maganda naman yung kulay na napunta sa atin guys. It's on the matte side. And as you can see, as the light shines down on it, meron siyang streaks of light every time na ititilt din natin yung device. First impressions ko sa kanya, since kulay gray nga yung meron tayo, kahit na matte yung kanyang likod, meron pa rin, of course, smudges kayong mapapansin sa kanya, lalo na nga kung pasmado kayo kadalasan. Pero okay lang no guys, kasi kahit pa paano, madali naman siyang linisan. Unlike yung mga smartphones na merong glossy back. Para sa akin, gusto ko yung likod guys. It feels very solid and it doesn't feel cheap. Yun nga lang syempre since may kalakihan, actually hindi may kalakihan, malaki yung ating device. It's not on the compact side. It's definitely gonna be bulky to bring and to hold. And of course, yung kanyang weight and to be exact, it's around 200 9 grams. It's not the kind of phone na pwede natin ilagay sa pocket, tapos okay na, on the go na tayo. And also, it's a two-hand smartphone. Halata naman din guys dito sa ating videos and b-rolls since maliit yung ating kamay. Anyway, for the buttons, may volume rockers tayo on the right side and yung kanyang power button is below that doubles as a side-mounted fingerprint sensor. Bukod pa doon sa ilalim guys, nandun naman yung ating headphone jack, yung isa niyang microphone, USB Type-C port at 
yung speaker grill. And then, of course, the SIM tray is on the left, which is dual SIM naman and expandable via micro SD card. So, nothing to worry about. By the way, okay din naman at mukhang matiba yung SIM tray natin since bakal siya. Unlike yung iba na plastic yung ginamit. Surprisingly, kahit wala rin naman siyang IP rating, may rubber gasket tayo doon sa SIM tray. So, kahit pa paano, alam nyo yun, there's a bit of protection. Overall, design-wise and size-wise, okay naman yung Infinix Note 11s. Definitely, parang sulit na sulit yung uh, ibabayad natin sa kanya dahil nga malaki yung, of course, yung display na makukuha natin. Bukod pa doon, it also comes with a bigger battery capacity. So, alam nyo yun, mamamaximize natin yung pera na binayad natin sa kanya. Lalo na, again, kung mahilig kayo when it comes to, you know, media consumption. Bukod doon guys, actually para sa akin, top notch din ang kanyang display. Considering the price, kung maalala nyo dati, noong nag-review tayo ng Realme 8i, ang sabi ko, yun na yata yung cheapest smartphone na pwede nating mabili na merong 120Hz refresh rate. Surprisingly guys, hindi pala yun yung pinakamura. <laughs> May ibang pala tayong smartphone na lalabas na mas sulit doon, which is this one, na meron din namang 120Hz refresh rate, same resolution, which is 1080x2460 resolution. But of course, yung display natin sa Infinix guys, has a bigger one, which is 6.95 inches. So parang konting kempot na lang guys, 7 inch na yung ating display dito sa phone na to, which is quite in the phablet area na. Sa mga first time na rin nag yung word na phablet, guys, it's actually from the words phone and the tablet. Fabulous tablet. Mga ganon, hindi po. <laughs> all in all, guys, for my experience dito sa Infinix Note 11s, so far, sobrang smooth ng display na binibigay niya sa akin, considering pa na malaki yung ating display nga. And hindi naman ako ni-disappoint kahit na malaki yung display. Siyempre, usually, kit lang kita yung pixels na to. Hindi naman guys, dahil full HD plus naman yung ino-offer niya. Bukod pa dito, we have nothing to worry about naman guys sa kanyang visual since it offers TUV Rainland Low Blue Light Certification. Also, unlike other smartphones na may 50 megapixels and higher refresh rate, ang kinaganda nito guys, meron siyang auto auto. <laughs> auto switch refresh rate. Bukod pa dito, ang kinaganda ng UI na meron tayo sa Infinix guys is yung ultra touch option niya sa settings. Again, meron tayong swipe speed and motion speed na kung saan pwede natin tong i-adjust accordingly depende depende <laughs> Depende sa gusto nating scrolling sensitivity. Also, just to add, most of Infinix smartphones, guys, kung maalala nyo, meron tayong mga screen protectors na libre. But with this one na nireview natin, take note, guys, ang retail unit na rin naman ito, naka-built in na yung screen protector. So, okay lang din naman kung wala na extra, at least, nilagay na nila sa atin. No? Hindi na tayo kailangan for problema pa na maglagay at mag-improvise. Bukod pa dito yung ating display ay nagko-consist of course ng kanyang front camera which has 16 megapixels. Since nasa usapan cameras na rin naman tayo, pag-usapan na rin natin yung rear cameras niya. Surprisingly, gusto ko yung set of cameras na meron tayo dito. Dahil yung kanyang secondary camera ay merong 13 megapixels telephoto lens na capable ng 3 times digital zoom and meron din tayong 2 megapixels bokeh lens and huwag natin kalimutan yung kanyang main camera na 50 megapixels AI triple ultra night camera. So yes, hindi tayo binigyan ng macro camera ni Infinix at hindi naman ako nagre-reklamo dito dahil useful naman yung mga inilagay na cameras nila kahit na wala tayong ultra wide camera. Usually guys, alam nyo, nagre-reklamo talaga ako sa mga set of cameras na walang ultra wide Pero since they provided a pretty good set, okay naman sa akin. By the way, if we will go to its camera, kung mapapansin nyo guys, yung ating more menu ay wala na doon sa pinaka kanang part niya. And for us to access it, isuswipe up lang natin ito. And dito natin makikita yung short video, video mode, AI camera, beauty mode, portrait mode, super night mode, AR shot, slow motion, pro mode, panorama, documents, and time lapse. And surprisingly guys, yung ating video mode, capable siya for the rear camera to actually shoot hanggang 2K resolution, which is 
Not bad to have. And take note, hindi lang yung rear camera natin yung may 2K resolution, but also the front camera. Using the front camera of the Infinix Note 11S, and take note, the resolution that you guys are seeing right now is in 2K. And let me know what you guys think. So far, I'm liking the um the colors. It's not too white. Alam naman natin that most budget phones masyadong um, maliwanag and kulang sa contrast. Ito, okay na okay naman. And gusto ko na meron siyang option to actually stabilize the video. Para sa akin so far, hindi ako din sa point ng cameras ng Infinix Note 11s, including its front camera. Alam nyo, I know the 50 megapixels should be the star of its cameras dahil alam naman natin that 50 megapixels is pretty good in terms of definition. By the way, katulad din ng mga ibang 50 megapixel smartphones, hindi ito automatically magsha-shot in 50 megapixels. You have to click the toggle 50 megapixels na located doon sa pinakaibabaw ng ating menu bar. So yep, when it comes to design, display, and cameras, hindi tayo din sa point ng Infinix Note 11S. Pero paano naman yung kanyang performance? Under its hood, meron tayong MediaTek Helio G96 chipset. Which is again, a very well-known chipset, guys, that will give you enhanced video gaming capabilities. Well, hindi naman ito yung kauna-unang device na if you feature ko sa channel na may ganitong chipset. If you guys remember, we also reviewed the Realme 8i with the same chipset. Yun nga lang, guys, kasi yun, ang kanyang entry-level um, variant is 6 gig of RAM. Alam ko namang hindi ito yung first time nyo, guys, na maririnig yung chipset na ito dahil pangalawa na yata sa pagkakaalam ko halos magkasunod lang doon sa previous video na napanood nyo which is the Realme 8i. Okay naman yung performance na ibinigay ng phone na yun sa akin pero kasi ang kinaganda ng Note 11 is guys 8GB RAM na agad yung makukuha natin sa kanya. So bigger RAM smoother and faster multitasking yung kaya niyang i-offer sa atin. Okay na okay yung binigay na performance ng Infinix Note 11 s sa akin lalong lalo na guys when it comes to opening multiple applications at once. Alam ko yung iba interesting when it comes to gaming but hindi naman din lahat ay gamer at hindi naman lahat ay bumibili ng smartphone just because of gaming. Most probably yung iba for online class or for media consumption. Para sa akin guys, panalong panalo ang Infinix Note 11s dahil nga doon sa kanyang malaking internal capacity and of course higher RAM. Anyway, what I also like about the Infinix Note 11s is the charging speed. Well, una, syempre, given na na maganda at malaki ang battery capacity niya, which is 5,000, tignan mo naman yung laki ng phone, guys. Magtaka ka kung 4,000 mAh lang yung battery capacity niya. But anyway, alam naman natin that having a big device comes with a big battery. Lagi naman ito. At para sa akin, kahit hindi man ganun katagal yung naging experience ko sa Infinix Note 11s, sigurado naman tayo natatagal siya ng isang buong araw. Uulitin ko ang charging speed niya is 33 watt X charge. Sa tingin ko, magkakatalo na lang tayo guys when it comes to its UI. Yung pinaka user interface niya kasi syempre, this is very subjective and hindi naman tayo pare-parehas ng gusto when it comes to the user interface of a smartphone. So, kung medyo sanay kayo sa user interface ng ibang smartphone, syempre, there's gonna be a lot of learning curve, definitely. Pero when it comes to the XOS na meron tayo sa skin ng Infinix, okay naman siya para sa akin. Of course, meron pa rin naman tayong drop-down notification at bukod na drop-down para sa kanyang mga quick settings. Ang hindi ko lang kinagusto sa UI niya is, of course, marami lang talagang bloatware. Marami siyang unfamiliar applications na hindi naman necessary for everyday life. And yung iba, of course, hindi rin naman natin pwedeng i-uninstall. Again, still subjective, so depende na lang to sa taong bibili, of course. Actually, all in all, para sa aking Infinix Note 11S, unboxing and first impressions, mukhang hindi nagpatalo yung brand ng Infinix. Halos walang tapon sa specifications na meron siya. Na-translate naman niya ito ng maayos. Hindi lang siya impressive on paper, but also in real life. Ngayon, kung kayo yung tipo ng tao na hindi mahilig sa malalaking smartphones, then this may not appeal to you. Pero alam niyo, para sa akin, hindi tayo tiniped ni Infinix sa specs na ibinigay nila, lalong-lalo na when it comes to its charging speed and camera setup na hindi naman ino-offer ng ibang brands sa atin sa ganitong price point. So yeah, yun lang guys. Actually, no, dagdag kaalaman 
lang. Infinix also partnered with Garena Free Fire. Kaya naman magre-release sila ng Infinix Note 11 as Free Fire Edition this upcoming December 12. Sa 12-12 sale natin. Before we totally end the video, napansin ko guys na medyo marami sa inyo yung sad the past few days which is why I decided to collaborate with Infinix for this giveaway. Get a chance to win guys a brand new Infinix Note 11S by just following the mechanics. Unang una guys is of course, like nyo yung Facebook page and TikTok account namin ng Infinix which is located down below yung ating mga official links. Second is of course, don't forget to answer the question what is one thing about the Note 11S that fires you up? Including yung hashtag na fire up the game. And of course, ilalagay nyo ito guys by sharing this video on Facebook and of course, by answering the question. So meaning guys, I'll be choosing the winner on Facebook. So make sure na ipopublic nyo yung inyong mga shinare na video ko and of course your answers. So yeah, that's basically it. By November 30 naman guys, malulaunch na itong bago nilang smartphone. So, I'm pretty sure pwedeng-pwede nyo na siyang i-add to cart by November 30. Again, it's your Tech and Mary and see you on our next video. Bye guys!